Take two. Yeah, it's probably only not much further until yeah. we get the other lake path. Might be hemlocky too. And if it is, we'll just do the Wagon Bay track back. So I think Emu track should be renamed. Oh, look at this still post right in the middle. Hemlock Haven, Star Picket. They haven't been on this in a management vehicle in a long time because they haven't cleared up this. Yeah. I suppose that theoretically we're still close to that path down the bottom. Yeah, but, but if you maintain one. this path, you can be spraying all of this weed out. And if someone gets injured or anything, you need to be able to get the... That is that the peak or the alternate peak? I think it's the alternate peak, you see from the peak. They want more tourists here, they've got to bloody work on these other tracks. And if they're wanting to turn this into a major tourist attraction, they've got to work on this. Nah, takes a while to grow that long, tall. But see all the seeds are formed? You need to spray it before then. Or slash it. Or slash and spray. Lake Edge Track. This one's marked. Visitor Centre, this one's marked this way. So they mark it even though it's full of hemlock. There we go, Parks Vic is encouraging you to walk through the poison forest. Lucky we had, well, you didn't have your arms covered. No, I did. but lucky I wouldn't have known to avoid it, so I was putting my hands up and Will stop. Hemlock is a poison. That's the plant it comes from. You'd have to have a fair bit, but a little bit will give you a dodgy tummy. What would it do to your skin? No, it just goes into your bloodstream and then you're sick. But 
little kids through that surface area. And we want to go around the link track. Which is a little bit further than what we did on the Emir track. There's the top of the edge. Oh, look at that. The yes. They're the ones you see on the road. On the Princess Highway? No. On the oh, like the um what's it called? Crosby. From Croyd. Claire and I went up that edge last year. Up the top of it somewhere. This bit here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You never really, unless you come this way, you never notice that. It's quite nice. Look, that's the low point through the thing. Mm. Oh, it's actually almost um, double. Volcanic hills, isn't it? Yep. Never noticed that before. That's why I thought we'd go on a different off track track from last year. And over the years, we'll end up doing all of the tracks if we do this. relatively coolish day you could do the whole lake edge probably mm -hmm. take it for three or four hours but you could flies. March foot type one really flying into you. Butterfly. It's the first butterfly I've seen. Usually I've seen more by right now. Bush tomatoes. Who knows? Oh, that's a good one. That's my first scene. Well, there's been lots. I've been pointing them out. I just let my legs touch him You've got long calves, though. But my non. Oh, 
Hopefully you'll be okay. It was a quick graze. I don't know how you went that close to the hemlock. It was so easy to miss it. Huh? I don't know how you got close to the hemlock. It was so easy to miss it. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. It was there the whole time I pointed it out. I don't know how you managed to do it. No one know how you got dingy. What's the first rule of first aid? Don't get in danger. Correct. You've got to check out the scene. So before you raid roar in to see the bush That's tomatoes, you check check the surrounds and look for hazards. Oh, hemlock, hemlock. We've lived out a mile away, Anne. Correct. Hemlock and some bridal creeper or something equally horrid. And it's probably a clematis. There are some native tomatoes. Yeah. Oh, it's got that bell shape though. It looks more like a trumpet, like at one of those. Clematis has more of a star. Hemlock in front of it. Big bush tomato you missed. A cow pat, but could be anything. Horse? Could. Would they bring a horse in? Some on my Oh, that's a nice view back to the really low bit. That's the rim. Looking at the rim over to the sea. It's the opposite of the rim. The rim's the tall bit. Yes, but it's the flat bit. It's not actually the water you see, it's just the cloudy haze. That rock and leave me fly. Got lizards. Giant. Yeah, I have been looking out for snakes. Giant. Just got to. You have to see the screen. There you are. Camouflage nicely in amongst the. Yeah. Double Goes yeah. to prove I am looking out for snakes because yeah. I spotted that.
don't know what is truth and what is family myth. Like skinks. I haven't seen my blue tongue I found in the garden hibernating and I had to rehibernate him. Did it wake up? Yeah, I was it was where I was doing a new garden bed. So he buried under a nice big pile of soil that I was happy in. He was very sleepy and unhappy with me. So I had to create him a new home. But I haven't Did seen you just him. bury it? I made a nice layer of like cardboard and not the stuff to insulate him from the frost. Yeah, and then did some dirt. Did it relocate it or did it run away? It kind of slowly moved two feet to where I was happy for it to stay. And then I rehomed it. I'm just wondering, Anne, whether this is the link track from the map. Maybe we just walk around this extra tiny bit, but there isn't anything else marked on it. too far because it's a long way around if we miss it. Well no we well it doesn't tell you which way but look look you walk like this yeah. then you go in and there's a link track I'm not sure if we're on this up bit now or we're just up there yeah or up there we 